Let's go to Ryan in North Halden. What's up, Ryan? North Halden. Halden? Hey, guys, how you doing today? Really? North Halden. Oh, I didn't know that. I grew up right next door to North Halden, yeah. All right, There's sorry, a Halden Ryan. and a North Halden. All right, North Halden. <laughs> how are you guys doing today? Great. Good. You? So I, I saw, th- good, thank you. I saw two very interesting stats last night that kind of speak to this offensive line play. Uh, it was tweeted by Nathan Janke from PFF. And it says that Eli was pressured uh, 27% of the time last night, which was actually sixth lowest of the week. And uh, the big problem was that on 50% of the time, he was sacked as the most. And then, obviously, we all know the problem with the offensive line, but it's four out of the five Giants offensive linemen um, were average and better in press protection last night, allowing just one to two pressures. So it really seems to me like... Ryan, Ryan you're you throwing... Know, not, did you watch you the know? game? Yeah, really. You're throwing I mean, numbers I mean, at I us. Know, he was getting no protection stop, whatsoever. Stop, stop he was it. constantly under, under, you under get your dog under control oh, and, and throw the numbers oh, away. Please. Because I'm sorry, if you watch the game, he I, was not being protected. Do not, please do not, under any circumstances, please, dear God in heaven above, do not make football into baseball. Where now everybody, because they love football, so they're going to come up with all these nuanced statistics, how this one did this and this one did that. I got eyeballs. I watched a 36-year-old quarterback getting slaughtered. He got sacked five times. How many times was he pressured? Were they able to run the football? So that means the defense knows exactly what's coming. So the times he did have time, everybody dropped into coverage and nobody was open, and eventually the pocket deteriorated. Everyone realizes they've got a pylon as a left tackle. So stop with all these the pro football index, yo-yo bum chuck treated this about this stat and that stat. Don't give me sabermetrics. Don't give me Fenwick and all these garbage statistics. What did your eyeballs tell you? What kind of duress was Eli under? What kind of time did he have to throw the football? Come on, stop it already, right? Everybody's coming up with these stats. Oh, well, this offensive lineman, only 27% of the time was Eli pressured from his left side on Monday nights when Sean McDonough is the announce. Stop. Stop creating some narrative that you, everybody knows football better than somebody else. Your eyeballs tell the story. The offensive line sucks, period. That's my stat. You want a stat? You want sabermetrics? Offensive Don Le- at Don LeGreca tweeted last night or said on the Michael K show, offensive line stinks. That's the stat. Give me a break. That's what we're going to do, Michael. We're going to be like accountants now in baseball. Uh, what is it? The Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem said that the Red Giants offensive line, that their record should be 1-1. In one. That's the Pythagorean theorem said that Wait, the when, Giants offensive line, that their record should when, be 2-0. Oh. When I talk when I talk Pythagorean theorem, I sound like that? No. Oh. The people that trust the oh. Pythagorean theorem, okay. the people that listen to the Pythagorean theorem, the people that sit there at their desk that only know the naked body through National Geographic that do the math to come up with the Pythagorean theorem. That's what they sound like. Wow. Quit it. It's football. I've been watching it for 40 years. 40. 40 years. That's one of the worst offensive lines I've ever seen. And they have not gone this long without scoring 20 points since 77-78 when Joe Pisarczyk was their quarterback. Patterson played Joe. So take that with your Pythagorean theorem. The Joe Pisarczyk theorem. You're dead.